let's say that there are n numbers, a1, a2, and so on, all the way up to an, then the geometric mean of a1 to an is given by this formula. The nth root of a1 times a2 times a3, and so on, all the way up to an. I'm sure there are many useful applications of the geometric mean, but for our purpose, this geometric mean will appear again when we calculate the time-weighted average price in Uniswap B3. In this video, we will use the geometric mean to calculate the average percent of change in the price of beef. Let's say that the price of beef is $3,000. One year later, it grew by 20%. So that will be 3,000 times 1.2, which is equal to 3,600. In the next year, it grew by 10% from the previous year. The previous year is 3,600, so I'll copy this, paste it here, and we're saying from the previous year, it grew by 10%, so we'll multiply this by 1.1, and using a calculator, this turns out to be 3,960. The year after that, it grew by 30% from the previous year, so we'll multiply this expression by 1.3. I'll copy this, paste it here, and from the previous price, it grew by 30%, so that will be times 1.3. And again, using a calculator, this turns out to be 5,148. Now let's try to compute the average price change over the years. We will start with an easy question. What is the average price change from year 0 to year 1? In other words, we want to find the number r such that when we multiply from the price of year 0, that will be 3,000, so 3,000 times r, will equal 3,600, the price of beef after one year. So what is this r? That will give us 3,000 times r equals 3,600. Well, if you look at the expression how we got from the price 3,000 to 3,600, we can see that we multiply it by 1.2. So our answer to this question, what is the average price change from year 0 to year 1, is r equals 1.2. Let's double check our answer. We're trying to find r such that 3,000 times r is equal to 3,600, and we said that r is equal to 1.2. So we multiply 3,000 by r, 1.2, and we get back 3,600. If you look at the price of beef after one year, that will be 3,600. So the average percent of change from year 0 to year 1 is simply this number over here, 1.2. Now let's ask the same question from year 0 all the way up to year 2. What is the average percent change of price from year 0 to year 2? In other words, we want to find the number r such that when we multiply 3000, that's the original price of beef, multiply by r, and we get a price after one year, and then multiply by r again, we get the price after two years. This is equal to 3000 times r raised to the power of 2 is equal to 3960, the price of beef after two years. We can also rephrase this question another way. If we look at the price change from year to year, from 0 to 1, it changed by 20%, and from 1 to 2, it changed by 10%. Starting at 3,000, we ended up with 3,960. What we're asking here is, what is the number r, so that if the price change was r over here and r over here, we start from 3,000, we end up with 3,960. Starting from 3,000 to get to 3,960, we need to multiply by 1.2 and then multiply it by 1.1. So if we set r equal to the square root of 1.2 times 1.1, then this r will satisfy this equation. Let's double check our math. So 3000 times r raised to the power of 2. So 3000 times r raised to the power of 2 is equal to 3000 times r is this number over here, has a square root, and we raise this to the power of 2, so the square root cancels out, and we're left with 1.2 times 1.1. We already did the math for this, and this turns out to be 3,960, which is the price that you see over here. Let's ask the same question again from year 0 to year 3. What is the average percent of price change from year 0 to year 3? In other words, we want to find R such that when we multiply by the initial price of 3,000, and multiply r over the three years, so that will be r raised to the power of 3, then it is equal to the final price of 5,148 that you see over here. Like the previous example, we know that if we take the cube root of this number and then raise it to the power of 3, then we will get this 
same number 5148. So we'll say r is equal to this expression, the cube root of 1.2 times 1.1 times 1.3, which is the numbers that are being multiplied over here. Again, we can check the math. So 3000 times r raised to the power of 3, r is this expression over here. So that will be 3000 times r raised to the power of 3. The cube root cancels out with the power of 3. So we're left with the expression inside, which will be 1.2 times 1.1 times 1.3. And we already know what this is equal to. This is equal to the final price of beef that you see over here, 5148. So 5148. Those were some examples of using the geometric mean to calculate the average price change over the years. Now let's compare the geometric mean to the arithmetic mean. We will ask the same question, what is the average percent of change in price from year 0 to year 3? Instead of using the geometric mean, here we will use the arithmetic mean. So we will ask the same question again. Find r such that 3000 times r for the first year, another r for the next year, and another r for the final year. That will be 3000 times r raised to the power of 3 is equal to the final price of beef 5148. What is this r? We will use the arithmetic mean, so we'll say r is equal to the arithmetic mean of the price changes are 1.2 plus 1.1 plus 1.3 divided by 3, and using a calculator, this turns out to be 1.2. Now, using this r, let's see what the final price of beef is after 3 years. This will be 3000 for the initial year times 1.2, so that will be 20% growth the first year times 1.2, another 20% the next year times 1.2, so increase in price by 20% the final year, and this is equal to, again using a calculator, this is equal to 5184. The actual price in the final year is 5148. Whereas if we use the arithmetic mean to compute the final price, then it turns out to be 5,184. 5,184 minus 5,148, the actual price, this is equal to 36. So there is an inaccuracy of 36. This example shows that when you're calculating the average percent of change, then the geometric mean gives a more accurate result than the arithmetic mean.